as I drive into Seattle, I'm going to talk about a very stupid thing I did this past week. My Kodiak generator wasn't charging up. I didn't know if it was the generator itself or just the charging cable. And I was kind of freaking out because it's a $1,400 generator. And I'm really dependent on it. Um, to figure out the problem, I had to plug in my solar panels to see if that charged it up. And I pulled a bunch of stuff out of my car and threw it on the ground in front of my car just to get it out of the way so I could figure out the problem. It turned out to be a blown fuse in my car because of something else I did with that 12 volt outlet and I was able to fix it immediately and easily because I had an extra fuse on hand because I have blown fuses a couple of times since I've been traveling. I was ecstatic that I didn't have to replace my generator or even the charging cable and I triumphantly drove back to the Walmart at the other end of that big shopping plaza and it started raining so I edited a video and I watched some videos Evening comes and I reach up above my solar panels in the cargo net where I keep my window covers and there's nothing there. And I got that panicked feeling of doom when I realized that I left all of my window covers on the ground at the other end of the shopping plaza. And I race back to see if they're still there. Nope, they're gone. I looked in all the dumpsters of the nearby businesses which were all restaurants that are only open later in the day which is why I went to that area. The lot was empty earlier. I looked around everywhere and nothing. I felt like crying. Window covers are really, really important when you live in a car. There was a homeless car dweller about 50 feet from where I left them, and they had their windows covered with plastic bags. I hope somebody like that who needs them at least ended up with them. So after a sleepless night, and it was sleepless, not only because my windows weren't covered and I felt exposed, but I beat myself up all night about my carelessness. But I decided to wash up, put on some clean clothes, and just get on the phone and order more window covers. So I went to get some clean clothes out of the bag where I keep all my clothes. I don't see my bag of clothes. Yes, I left my bag of clothes on the ground with my window covers, and it's gone too. So I look around the car wondering what else I left on the ground. Candy's brand new pet carrier was also left behind, and it's gone. I raced back over to that area again and looked around again and looked in the dumpsters again. Nothing. Not only did I feel like crying this time, I felt like driving all the way back to my mommy's house in Rhode Island because what is wrong with me that I would do that? It's the most careless thing I've ever done and it scared me. It was a horrible feeling and it was a horrible day in my life. But eventually I washed up, which is tricky to do without window covers. And I put my dirty clothes back on because that's all I had besides some winter clothes that I keep under my mattress. I got on the phone and ordered another set of $170 window covers. I did entertain the idea of just making some window covers, but my homemade covers were really crappy compared to the ones I bought, and I don't want to go back to that. I then went into Walmart and bought some clothes, and then went to PetSmart and looked at their pet carriers. They weren't as nice as the one I got from Amazon, so I went ahead and ordered the same one from Amazon to be sent to the nearest UPS store along with my window covers. I feel like a different pet carrier would be a constant reminder of what I did. I don't need a reminder because I won't forget what I did, ever. It'll be about $400 to replace everything. I hope a homeless person who needs that stuff ended up with it. That would take the sting out of it for me. And there are more homeless people in that shopping plaza living in cars and RVs than I've ever seen anywhere. $400 isn't going to break me, but my confidence feels broken. It's the most careless thing I've ever done. Now, I do some reckless things, but that's a choice. I feel really weird about what I did. I feel down on myself. I can't believe I did that. I'm, like, perplexed and a little depressed uh, but I just I'm just going to keep going and hope for the best hopefully I can visit Seattle without any major screw ups because it's my first time here and I'm excited to see it gotta do the space needle but Candy has to wait in the car $37 is a little pricey, but I'm going to be way over budget this month anyway, replacing all my stuff. 
Might as well go for broke. We're on the elevator. The Olympic Mountain Range, and then all that connects us out to the Pacific Ocean, so it's salt water. So with that, we are. There's the observation deck. Whoa. I think that's Queen Anne, which is a very affluent residential area, and that's where Dr. Fraser Crane lives. There's the Seattle skyline. Look at the size of that cruise ship. If it stood upright, it would be as tall as those buildings. Is that Mount Rainier back there? Proof I was here for my future self in case I get even more forgetful. Let's walk all the way around. Oh, I see it. Are we going to make it? No. There's artwork on the roof for people up here to look at. That must be Puget Sound and the Olympic Mountains back there on the horizon. Look at them standing against the glass. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. Back to the Queen Anne neighborhood down there. Giant spiders invading Seattle. And no one notices because they're all at Starbucks sipping a latte. I was looking for the elevator and I didn't even know there was a rotating glass floor here. This guy is easing himself into it. This is kind of freaking me out a little bit. I'm rotating above Seattle. It's a scary ride, but very cool. Now I'm feeling brave enough to walk. Well, that was a thrill, Seattle. Going down now. This is the Fremont Troll, and of course trolls live under a bridge. Trolls are derived from Norwegian folklore, and they're considered dangerous and dim-witted. Candy for scale. She's not much bigger than his fingernails. What a schnazola. He looks like Jimmy Durante. This is basically a sculpture that was put here to repel the drug dealers that were inhabiting this space. So many tourists come here, there's no privacy for drug dealing. Very cool, I like it a lot. He's clutching an actual Volkswagen that he swiped from the street above. I need a chuckle after the week I had. Plus, Seattle is kind of a quirky city compared to most. 
and there's some Seattle cork in this cafe. We're entering the Obama Room, which stands for the official Bad Art Museum of Art. Portrait of a woman and a lobster. Here they're called portraits, not portraits. A miserable looking clown. A woman with balloon sized breasts. Freaky child with a poodle. We'll call that one dogs floating in an orange abyss. Shirtless Obama with a unicorn, what a treat. Various cheesy clowns. Looks like a lassie paint by number. You gotta have a paint by number in any good bad art collection. Just a belly dancer's torso, no head or legs. Einstein leading an orchestra? Somebody in need of dental work. Looks like it was painted by a four-year-old. Faceless being. Is that a man with breasts or a woman with a mustache? A man with a pickle-shaped head. And a sad child with a round head and big round eyes. Landscape art with lighting. That was big in the 70s and 80s, I think. That one's not too hideous. Now that's frightening. Little horror movie girl. Elvis, but it's not on velvet. They really should have an Elvis on velvet. There's artwork in the bathroom and lots of messages scrawled on the wall. None of the quotes I'm seeing are profound at all. So this should be called the bathroom of bad quotes, I think. Dogs playing poker is a must for any bad art collection. Bad religious art including a Jesus portrait made of marshmallow peeps. And the bad art cafe food gave me really bad heartburn. I'm not mad. That's the way it should be. I got a notification that my window covers arrived at the UPS store. I'll feel better about things once I have those. I like to cover my windows when I'm parked in a city, so I'll be back in Seattle another day. There is more I want to see. Is that a Ferrari?